What's up guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 14.2 RC, release candidate. Last Friday, Apple released this software to developers and I wanted to take the weekend to take a look at the software and go over some of the latest details. In this video, I wanna share with you guys my final review for iOS 14.2 and everything you can expect for this software. Now, as I mentioned, Apple released it last Friday in a surprising move on October the 30th at a later time as well. So it was around four o'clock Eastern time. So I took the entire weekend to go over the software, give you guys my feedback, and as I mentioned, everything that's new with 14.2. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that are new. Number one is that Apple is now renaming the uh, gold master copy to release candidate rc so this makes more sense now uh, a lot of people can understand this a lot better so 14.2 release candidate is here and at the latest bill number for this software let's head on over to general software in about is 18b 91 and that's going to be the last bill number for 14.2 we'll talk about expected release date here towards the end of the video so let's talk about the new features number one apple has added over a hundred new emojis to ios 14.2 and i'll list this in the description down below you can find all the new emojis in this listing here there's over a hundred new emojis with 14.2 now, if we head on over to settings here under wallpapers, there's also eight new wallpapers available with iOS 14.2 as well. So we have all these new wallpapers here. We have the light and dark mode versions of them. So eight of these new ones are available. And these here really don't look like Apple wallpapers, which is sort of interesting. I do like them nonetheless. But yeah, eight new wallpapers are now available with 14.2 as well now this also brings support for the apple uh, sleeve the one that apple presented with magsafe so this one is also adding support for that as well i didn't think that needed to be a software update support for that but i guess it is it is in apple's release notes now another great feature coming with 14.2 is the optimized battery charging features for AirPods Pro. So I'm gonna put my AirPods Pro in my ear to show you this feature here. So once I put the AirPods Pro in my ear and they're connected here, let's go to more information. You see right here, we now have a new option, optimize battery charging. Now this is a feature on iPhone and it is now brought over to AirPods. So I'm happy to see that. And that allows your AirPods to charge until you go to pick them up. So they'll charge to about 80% to sort of preserve the battery on your case and on your uh, AirPods. And once you are about ready to reach the time where you usually grab them, then the iPhone automatically or the charger automatically continues to charge the AirPods to reach 100 right before you grab them. So it sort of learns your pattern. So if you usually take them out on a run in the mornings, it'll probably charge, let's say you go out on a run at about 6 a.m. This will actually charge to 80% till 5 a.m. And then once it knows that you're about to pick them up an hour later, it'll charge that extra 20%. So is not constantly charged to 100%. So optimized battery charging feature, a new feature for the AirPods Pro, definitely a big upgrade there for the battery and the battery health on AirPods Pro. Also a new feature here under the sound options, we have the headphone safety. This will give you notifications. If you exceed the decibel limit uh, for, I think it is five days, it'll seven days, actually it says here seven days, then it'll send you a notifications that you might wanna tone it down so that you don't damage your hearing. So that's something new with 14.2 as well now another great feature with 14.2 is a new ui for the music platter here in the control center and of course new menus and controls for airplay are also available with this new ui as you can see here we talked about this before and this translates throughout the entire os including the music application of course now the new intercom feature is also now fully featured with iOS 14.2. So let's go to the home application here and you can find the new intercom feature by heading over to the home settings options and there it is. You can go ahead and use the intercom feature. Now it is working throughout every single device on the release candidate, the final build here. So I've been using it and it works great. So yeah, the new intercom with HomePods Definitely a great new feature with 14.2 as well. And the ability to connect a HomePod to an Apple TV stereo sound and Adobe Atmos sound as well. So that feature is now enabled using iPhone audio as well, connected to an Apple TV, as I mentioned, 4K, and if your HomePods are all listed in the same home network. Aside from those new features, the exposure notifications now 
are able to be sent without having to identify a person or a particular user. So if we go to the exposure notification system, more privacy here in the exposure notifications for the COVID-19. And another one is the magnifier. So the magnifier now allows you to actually detect the distance of people using the new LiDAR sensor on iPhone 12. So yeah, a new feature for iPhone 12 using LiDAR now allows you to detect distance between you and someone else as well. Now there's a bunch of fixes here as well with 14.2. Apple added a ton of improvements as well. For example, in the camera, the viewfinder sometimes would appear black or blurred. That has been fixed. Now it's no longer a blur or black screen. So yeah, some of you guys were also reporting the camera was freezing. So that's been addressed as well another annoying bug that i've encountered myself was when you used to uh, unlock your iphone and you used the passcode the keys will not register so there would always be a blank space so you would do your code and it'll always miss a digit now it doesn't really do that now it really works as it should so i'm happy that was super annoying especially if you're wearing a mask and you can't really use face id you have to do the passcode it would always skip a digit and i would hate that so finally it's been addressed here as well now the widget for the photos also received an update here there were some issues where some users wouldn't see the actual images be displayed for the photo widget that's been addressed so if you were having that issue where your pictures wouldn't show up for the photos widget apple has definitely addressed that here now if you were recording a voice memo while you receive the phone call those voice memos would be interrupted apple has fixed that and now the incoming call can continue to ring and your voice memos will not be interrupted or cancel halfway through so great thing there as well now i've encountered this one myself the actual apple watch application on iphone would crash randomly that's been addressed with 14.2 and another big fix here with 14.2 is that wireless charging would be interrupted depending on the wireless charger that you would use for your iphone so on 14.2 apple has addressed that bug a lot of users were reporting on this one where the uh, device would just stop charging after a while depending on the wireless charger that you would use so the software also addressed that issue as well now in regards to battery i know you guys always ask about the battery i will be doing a battery test you can leave your comments in the description uh, or in the comments down below and tell me which device you would like for me to test once the official final build is pushed out for 14.2 although this is the release candidate i'm pretty sure nothing will change after this one but once it is official i'll make sure to do a battery test just let me know which devices you would like to see for that particular battery test but i've been getting all day battery life it's been a very very good battery life i want to say it's the same battery life as 14.1 which is obviously great battery life on iphone especially on iphone 12 if you didn't catch my battery test links will be in the description for that now in terms of performance i can't say that i've noticed any lags or any issues the only issue that i've encountered over and over is network reception issues so i'm not sure if that has anything to do with my device my carrier in particular but i've noticed that that's been an issue on and off i don't know if that has anything with the 5g thing going on right now with iphone but yeah definitely a great software update a ton of improvements improvements a lot of new features let me know what you think about 14.2 in those comments down below thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace